Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is part two of my collab, two-parter collab with Anki, Makeup by Anki, um, my beautiful soul sister. If you haven't seen part one um, and you like seeing the making of the Build Your Own palettes, then it's the last one that was up. I'm terrible at this. Um, Guys, I am super excited to be doing another two-part collab with Anki. Both of us love building your own palettes. Um, Anki in particular is just amazing at it. And she has the most amazing collection of single eyeshadows ever. Um, the looks she creates are just so beautiful. She's just super talented and such a beautiful person who I could not imagine my life without now. She is such an amazing friend and soul sister. So, uh, yeah, if you guys don't know who she is, which is highly unlikely, but if you don't, then you'll find both Anki's channel and her video linked in the description box below. If you haven't checked her out, you really need to because she is amazing and she's just got the cutest little kitten called Milo and he is just adorable. I'm a sucker when it comes to animals in general um, but he is a cute little kitty. Cute, cute, cute. Cuteness overload. Um, so yes, I will pop a couple of pictures up of the kind of looks that Anki does. Um, she's just wonderful. And as you can see, very talented and very creative. So guys, if you've not seen part one, then you won't have seen this, more than likely. Um, but if you've seen part one, this is my perfect Valentine palette that I put together myself. I'm really proud of it. I love it. It's more down the traditional kind of colour route. Um, which isn't generally my thing. Usually I'm just a break all the rules. But I didn't this time, not really. Um, but I had so much fun making it. And I created, well, two looks, but three, because I like to cheat. And because I made a 20 pound palette, because I couldn't choose, um, I'm a nightmare, I know. Um, so I had to do three looks. So look one is one look and this is looks two and three. So guys, if you would like to see how I created all three looks, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so starting off look number one, I am going to go into the shade up here, which is Duchess from Makeup Geek. And I'm taking that on a Morphe doesn't have a name or number, just a, a s kind of pencil-y style brush. And I'm just going to be taking that right in this outer. It's very kick-uppy, this shade. <laughs> and I've done my base first, so I need to be super careful that I don't end up. getting fallout under my eyes. I'm so excited to see Anki's palette and her looks. They're always amazing and she is the queen of build your own palettes. And she has the most amazing, amazing collection of single shadows. So it will be really interesting to see which ones that she picks. I'm just going to smudge the edges so slightly. I'll we'll take it just a little bit higher. So, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Do any of you have anything exciting planned? We will most likely do the same as usual and watch a film, have some snacks, just a nice chilled one. 
I'm a sucker for all things romantic. Like a complete sucker for it. <laughs> I'm just going to just drag that in just a little bit. So it's not a harsh line leading into the crease. Okay, so I think I think I'm going to go in with Caps Lock from Lethal Cosmetics. I'm just taking that on um it's a little kind of fluffy pencil brush it's from uh, Cosmic Brushes which is a UK indie brand these brushes are really nice and I'm just going to start by taking that just here on this inner part I'm just going to build it up in the crease here and drag it into the outer shade there. Okay, so I've just taken the purple up a bit higher and then I'll continue building up this pink and then just kind of wiggle it on the line there just to blend them together a bit. And make sure it's really kind of built up right in the crease here. Okay, I am I am loving how this is looking. Right, let me just get get a fluffy brush. Open one. So I'm going to take Utopia from Terra Moons and I'm going to use that. Taking it on a Spectrum B06, I'm just going to use that shade just to buff out the edges on the pink here. I am loving how this is looking. So I'm going to take. I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with Altitude from Lethal and I'm taking it on a fluffy brush from Altitude Cosmetics and then I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of <laughs> the deeper purple This is working good. See, for me, this I had in my head, I think, what I wanted to do as like my version of a, a Valentine's Day palette. And I was going to include green, but when I looked through the amount of Kind of pinks purples reds i have that just don't get enough use i'm just going back in with the brush that had the deepest purple on um i thought it would be a shame to waste the opportunity to kind of bring them out i'm gonna dip back into that deep purple a little bit because i want to re-intensify it down low but then I want to bring it up into that purple just a little bit more and then I'm just taking a tiny bit of that just to assist that blend a little bit more okay so with this Morphe fluffy flat brush I am going to I'm going to go into Kylie 
This is from Titmouse Com Cosmetics, and I believe this is the first time using this on my eyes. I am going to spray my brush so I don't get any fallout because I have done my base first, which I don't usually do anymore. And I'm just going to take that right on the outer edge here. This is such a beautiful purple shimmer. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that. So, for the inner part, the inner part of my lid, I'm going to go into Pixie Sticks, which is from Davina Cosmetics. And I'm also going to give that a spray. I'm taking that on a Morphium Medicine Beer brush. Ooh. This is a good choice. Oh, this shade is absolutely stunning. Oh, oh, oh. this is the first time trying this shadow on my eyes also. It's so soft and romantic. I love it. I don't know how I slept on uh, some of these brands for so long. I think it's really done me good getting into single eyeshadows. Because there are just some amazing ones out there. This is stunning. That is super pretty. Right, I'm just going to take some more of Duchess from Makeup Geek, the deeper purple. And I'm just going to connect up from the lower to the upper lid. I do apologise, it's, uh, it's evening when I'm filming this. Um, so that I had someone to puppy sit while I film and I think he's playing up he's having a really bad day for the teething which makes him really kind of aggy not my problem right now <laughs> right now I am doing my makeup and I am absolutely Loving it. Okay. I think I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with Cupcake Frosting from M Cosmetics. And I'm taking that on a P. Louise. What are you? I think it's a 117. And I'm just going to take a little bit of time... And I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the purple a little bit. M Cosmetics is another brand that I think I've I've been sleeping on. I just can't get over how many just amazing, amazing indie brands are out there. And uh, I'm making it my mission to find and try as many as possible because I would always much prefer to to support the smaller indie brands than to go with sorry just going back in with the deepest purple a little bit oh it's so pretty so pretty I am going to take a bit more of that um Duchess from Makeup and just kind of make the the matte and the shimmer kind of gel make friends <laughs> something like that oh, this has been such an 
easy look. Don't tempt fate now, Steph. Do not do it. Right. Hmm. I think for the inner part of my lower lash line, I am going to go in with Davina Shuggies. I think that's going to look. Or, or shall I? Uh, no, I think first. First, I am going to go in to Nectarine. This one here from the Pastel Roses. And I'm just taking that on a Morphe M149. I am going to give it a quick spray just so I don't get the fallout. And I'm going to take that right on the inner part of my lower lash line. Oh my god, these shadows from the Pastel Roses. If you haven't tried anything from them yet, you really, really should. Because they make some absolutely awesome shadows. This is one of my favourites from them. Um, it's so beautiful. It doesn't really translate as well like on camera as it does in person. But then that can be the case with a lot. Because it's got like a, a green, pink, peach tone. I don't know how to describe it. Like just how beautiful it is. So I am now going to go into Shuggies from Davina Cosmetics. And taking that on just a, a little Morphe brush, giving it a spray. And I'm going to pop that right on the inner corner here. Oh, wow, look at that. I love this. Now this is my kind of valentine look and then just drag it up a little bit okay i'm going to take just the tiniest bit of that and i just want to take that just up under my brow there Okay, I'm loving this. So I am going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back and show you finished look number one. So if you'd like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so I'm back with finished look number one. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Before I hand you on over to look two, I'll just let you know a few of the extra bits I popped on my face. So the black eyeliner is from Madage Beauty, it's their liquid black eyeliner. Um, mascara is from She Glam, it's the one it's double ended. One end is volume and the other is length and curling. Um, I really enjoy that. Um, my lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics, they're in the style extra. On my cheeks I went in with the Pout and Shout Blush Pink Me Up and if I can open it up, looks like this, my favourite blush formula ever. Um, the highlighter is from Makeup by Lisa, it is in the shade Pink Sunshine. Mine got damaged because I dropped it. Um, but yes, I love that. Also... My lips, the liner I went in with is the W7 Lip Twister in the shade Lilac. And the lipstick is the Nabla Wildberry Lipstick. And I love this. This is so... I love the little compartment as well. It's so cute. So cute. Um, so yes, this is finished look number one. So I will now hand you on over to look number two. Okay guys, so I'm going to do a different look on each eye. Um, just because I want to use more shades. 
Um, so I'm going to go into Lethal Cosmetics Frantic on a Spectrum A12. I have my daughter, my best friend and her daughter here. So remind me to say the names of the brushes. <laughs> I've primed my eye with the ABH eye primer. And I haven't tucked it out properly. On oh, the puppy's dreaming. So if you hear some strange noises in the background, um, yeah, Jace is dreaming. <laughs> Sounds more like a train. <laughs> oh, I do love this shade. I know this is one that Anki loves too. I'm so excited to see Anki's looks with her palettes. As I'm filming these two looks, um, the first part of the collab went live yesterday so I have seen the colour story of Anki's palette and it is so good so if you haven't checked out the part one then go do that now mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do kind of a halo eye spotlight kind of I think I'm just going to make sure I take that up higher because of my uh, hooded eyes. Just to make sure it shows well above when my eyes are open. And then I'm just going to loosely connect that over the top. I love doing these collabs so much, like creating your own colour story and usually I would put green in but I was really good and I stuck with kind of typical Valentine's colours I think. I think actually I'm going to go in with Caps Lock from Lethal Cosmetics on another Spectrum A12. I remembered. I won't remember in a minute though. I remember for a couple and then I forget. I'm just going to use that to blend out oh, no. the edges. <laughs> that your phone, Brina? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shame uh, Dave's not due to call. Discovered, well, I didn't discover. I was introduced to hmm. this app that you can get on your phone and it's called, what's it called? Sedge. Sedge. And the ringtones and notification tones that you can get on there are hilarious. So when Kira calls me, it does the, what's his name, Stewie from Family Guy? The mum, 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 mummy. <laughs> um, so yeah, my phone does that when she rings. And then when Dave calls, it says, oh no, it's Dave calling. What does he want? What does he want? Um, I'll blend it better in a moment. But I don't know, I'm quite liking the bright outer. I'm bringing that a little bit further in and a little bit higher there. and then back in with Frantic I nearly forgot the name of it then uh, just to blend it into the pink and to blend the edges of that, I'm going into, what are you called? <laughs> Utopia from Terra Moons Cosmetics. This is so pretty. I'm 
I've really recently, well, say so really gotten into them. It's the first time I've tried them. Like Divina Cosmetics and Terra Moons shadows and Cleona. They do some amazing single shadows. I just wish that it didn't cost so much to get them to the UK. Otherwise, I would have a lot. Okay, so to start with the shimmers, I'm going into Euphoria from Lethal Cosmetics. Um, it's another one of my favourites. I love this shade. I'm taking that on a Odin's Eye. I think this is FR5. Um, I could be wrong. I'm just going to tap that over the edges of the mat there. <laughs> and Jace is still going with his uh, choo choo train. Choo choo train now. Yeah. I wonder what he's dreaming about. Bizarre. Perfect. And then for. For the inner part, I'm going to go in with Red Grape from the Pastel Roses UK. I love Sorry, their sparkly shadows. Oh. I'm going to take that up the centre and blend it slightly into either side. Remembering that I've done my base first, so I don't end up with a ton of fallout, I hope. I hope I don't, not I hope I do. <laughs> oh, I like that. Um, with the same brush, I am going to go into Arcade from Lethal Cosmetics and I've got hair on the brush I'm just going to tap just a little bit of that right in the very centre to brighten it up a bit for the lower lash line I'm just going to take the brush that I had frantic on I'm just going to connect the outer outer part of my under eye to my upper lid my technical terming and then the brush that had caps lock I'm just going to not put any extra product on, I'm just going to blend out the lower lash line. So for the inner part of my lower lash line I'm going into Nectarine, that's by the Pastel Roses UK. And did I even say, I, I don't know what brushes I've said and what I haven't now. Um, this one is a Morphe M149. And this is my sneaking a bit of green in because it is... <laughs> it is kind of a, a pink coral with a green shift. And it's quite a strong green shift. Especially when you put it against other pink. Ooh, do I want to put that on the inner corner as well? Yeah, I'm going to put that on the inner corner as well. Ooh, that's pretty. This is one of my favourite singles in my collection. I love this shade so much. 
and put under the brow. I'm, I am going to use a tiny bit of that under the brow actually. I think that's going to look really pretty. Ooh. All right. Okay, so I'm going to nip off and pop on some eye primer on this eye and then come back, do that eye. Um, and then, yeah, so just stay where you are. Okay, so I've primed my second eye. If I seem a bit off today, it's because I'm in a lot of pain. So apologies if I seem flat or uninterested. That is not the case. So what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go into Altitude from Lethal Cosmetics and I'm taking that on a Spectrum A12. If you haven't guessed, this is my favourite brush and I have a few of them. Oh, this one's really kick-uppy. Really kick-uppy. Tap that out. I'm not going to be doing a one of them Halo Eye Spotlight. Whatever. I'm going to take that into the inner part of my crease. So I'm going to look really odd because they're going to be completely different colours and completely different shapes. But I feel like it. The shade is so pretty. It's like a really nice periwinkle colour. Brina, would you call that periwinkle mm -hmm. colour? I'm going with that. Pa Panatone colour of the year? I don't know. I had <laughs> never even heard that mentioned until I've heard, funnily enough, another a couple of other creators um, talking about it. But I have no clue. Oh, I can't use that one. It's exactly the same. I won't know which one I've used for what. And what brush is that? It's another A12. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. Um, I'm next going to go into Release from Lethal Cosmetics with another Spectrum A12. And I'm just going to put that right next to it. Yeah, these looks definitely aren't going to kind of go together as a one look with two different eyes, but that's fine by me. That's what you want to give us. Yeah, I'm just going to keep that kind of in the centre-ish and blend them together. These blend beautifully together. I am a huge fan of Lethal Cosmetics matte shadows. And I do have, I didn't think until afterwards, I do have the Lethal Is Dead palette and also the three mini ones um so i've got myself now some sticky labels so i can put the names of the shades on the back and then i can use them in these build your own palette videos and it wasn't until watching uh anki's building the palette video that i was like oh crikey i could do that too why don't i why don't i indeed um, but as always, Anki's palette is beautiful. She has the most amazing collection of single shadows ever, I think. Oh, excuse the plaster as well. <laughs> I should have said that earlier. It's nothing bad. It was just having a puppy. And where it was down the side of the nail, I kept catching it, so plaster it is okay now i am going to head into night call also from lethal cosmetics and that's on a peaches and cream pc 22 brush remembered mm -hmm. and that's not going to be deep enough no that's not going to be deep enough hmm okay change of plan laugh I am going to go into um, this one, Duchess from Makeup Geek. Hello, Jace. Um, because, yeah, that's better. 
there wasn't enough of a difference in depth. I don't know what I thought there would be. I think it... Um, Nightcall doesn't look as deep on the eyes as it does in the pan. Yeah. I'm going to kind of bring this one out a bit more. I like it. Needs a bit more blending, but I like it. Silence. House of Silence. <laughs> well, apart from Jace's <laughs> moaning in his sleep. All right, and then back in to what you called release from lethal. The ones in the middle, just to help that a bit more. Blend. Oh, don't set me off your name. I think this is more like the sleepy household today. Yeah. Everyone's tired. Tired of life. And back into Duchess. Just to deepen. Then blend. Are you not even awake? <laughs> it looks like I have three zombies in the room with me. Mm -hmm. Four zombies. Four zombies. Oh yeah, Jace. Four zombies in the room with me. Okay, so for the outer part of my lid, I'm going into um, Kylie. This is from Titmouse Cosmetics, UK indie brand. Oh, the brush is a Morphe flat brush with no name or number on it. And this is my first time. Is it my first time using somewhere? I don't think I used it in the other look. I'm not sure now in one of the other looks. But I have fallen in love with their formula. And being a UK indie brand, it is much easier for me to get a hold of. I had been meaning to try Titmouse Cosmetics for quite a while because there's quite a few of my friends over here on YouTube that have been talking about them. Look at that. Went over a bit further than I was going to. Got a bit carried away because it's so pretty. Okay, and for the inner part of my lid, I'm going into Calx from Cleona Cosmetics. The brush, <laughs> the brush is from Artitude Cosmetics. It's one of the flat ones. Um, Artitude Cosmetics brushes are amazing, as is pretty much everything else they do. I love the shift in this shade. It's got like a how would you describe it? Kind of a pink, lilac, blue shift. I'm terrible at describing colours. As if you are not new, you will already know. I suck. It's really bad. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into Duchess from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to bring that just onto the lower lash line there. I'm gonna go in with M Cosmetics, the cupcake frosting. Yep. Brush. Oh, the brush is a P. Louise 117 Too Lost in My Blend brush. I think that's part of the name, that's what it says on it anyway. I have a couple of these, I love these. Blend that out the base. I don't know what shimmer I'm going to go there with yet. I might go in with Winter Garden actually. For the inner part of my lower lash line, I'm going into it's called Winter Garden, isn't it? Yeah, Winter Garden from Sydney Grace. 
version of this. Kind of like a grey purple ish. I don't know how you describe it. Blue, blue purple, grey purple. I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> Okay, for the inner corner, I am going into Lux from Cleona Cosmetics, one of the iridescent multi-chromes, something along them lines. Brush. The brush, <laughs> the brush is from Morphe, it's like a little pencil -y brush, it's got no name or number on it. Ooh. I like that. And I think, just so that I use another one as well, I am going to go into Shuggies from Divina Cosmetics and taking that on the M149 that I keep dusting off and reusing. And I'm going to swap that. It's not frozen yet, but it's And uh, the brow. Oh, Chase is dreaming again. All right, okay, I'm happy with these looks. I'm gonna nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back and show you both finished looks and wrap up the video. So if you'd like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I am back with finished looks two and three. Um, let me know which out of the three looks is your favourite. If you have one, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, Anki, thank you so, so much for collabing with me. These collabs are just so much fun. I love them. Um, I get all excited when I'm thinking about which shadows I might want to put in and guys again if you haven't been over to Anki's channel you will find her channel and video linked in the description box below that was really good timing um so if you haven't already then please head over subscribe like comment all of it give her all the love um she's just a beautiful person inside and out and she is a whiz with colour and yeah she just has the most amazing collection of single shadows ever. I'm so jealous. Um, so before I say goodbye I'll just let you know a couple of the bits I popped on. Everything from both looks the rest of this, and that will be under two and three, and then the base base products from look one, they will all be in the description box below. Um, the lashes I decided to go in with, one of my favourites, Ever Makeup by Lisa. I don't know why I'm showing you the empty box. I always do this. They're in the style Raven. I love them. In my waterline, I went in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner, uh, the shade Charmer. Um, first time using this shade and I love it. For the liner on my lids, I used one of the Duochrome Cake It liners from Artitude Cosmetics in the style Passion. I love these and as you can see they look beautiful. Love them. They don't crack. I haven't found, at least with any of the ones that I've used, I recommend them to everybody um, and just quickly I'll mention because this lipstick is so comfortable it is from She Glam and it's in the shade Momojo Momojo I got this in a, a set of three and I can't think what the set was called um, but they do sell it on its own also it is so comfortable and it, I'll use this hand because it's got less scratches than this one, but as you can see, completely transfer proof. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. So guys, one final look at my perfect Valentine palette. Let me know what you guys think of the palette, of my choices of shades. I went down a more traditional route than 
I usually would, um, but I'm super happy with it. I had so much fun creating it, I had so much fun creating the looks, and I am super excited to see Anki's two looks with her palette. So guys, if you've enjoyed this, please do give it a like. Um, if you are new or if you are over here from Anki's channel, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around if you love colourful makeup, supporting indie brands and just, just general makeup stuff. Um, then yeah, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you when I upload a video. So with all that said, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.